to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Your dream came true, Jabes. What? <laughs> Your dream came true. Soup's proud of you. Soup's glad this is happening. What are you talking about? I'm talking about dreams, Jesse. We're going we're to lead off today's show with dreams. Uh, sometimes people get Paris, them in this life. Right? No. Better. Is Paris in the... Is it summer? Nope. Nope, not even close. So what is my dream that you think my dream is? If I were to die, I know you would miss me, right? Dream over. Yeah, you could probably hear some people hammering (laughs) nails into a coffin in the background. But today, (laughs) it's not us this time. It's not us this time. I'm alive today. Uh huh. But if I pass away, Sure. Or I die. Right. I get a flight on Friday. I could go down in a heap of metal. And that would and be steel. Sad. You know that'd be sad for everyone. And we would just have to cash the life insurance policy for carry two million. On. Okay. Yep. That one. Yep. And be sad. You bet. And be, tr- try to repair. Yeah. 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 And yeah. move on. Yeah. Without you in our lives. But now you can move on with me. Uh, There's a sex doll company that is creating lifelike replicas of your dead partners. So I don't want you to worry anymore. I know this was your biggest fear. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Science has now said, Jesse, fear no more. Dreams do come true. You'll be able to bang me forever. Right. In, into eternity. Sure. Bang me into eternity with my lifeless, uh, yet full of life, sex doll. Gosh, what face would they, you reckon they put for you? Well, they're going to put my face on. But it's like, look you have like to be me. making a face, right? Like it's not animatronic. Like it would have to be one of your, again. Well, you get to pick that. Such animated, you yeah. You get to pick that. Yeah. So. Gosh, I wonder <laughs> which one it would be. Maybe it was the one from the other show when you were doing the laser eye. Eyes for oh, the, the, bl- the blinks, the blinks and dinks. The blinks and dinks. I really liked that weird, like, closed eyed. I think it would be more of a biting of the lower lip, like, mm. nope. 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 What about, uh, like, mouth, mouth agape, uh huh, wide open. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. One of those. Okay. Like, like wouldn't one that of these? be weird? Uh. Wouldn't that be weird? You would want it more than I would, but wouldn't that be weird? The sex doll, the sex doll in my in my passing. But what? Wouldn't that be strange? No, no I wouldn't. It's I, it's more you. You like you talk about that a lot. You know, you're always saying. Here's what I die, talk about. I want a doll of you to bang. You say. Here's that a what lot. I talk about. I've talked about it before. Of that story that I heard of the guy working on his. Um, robot while his wife is still alive kind of inputting her mannerisms yeah. and things that she would say and building this robot for because she has cancer when she goes he'll still be able to talk to her and hang out with her and like travel with her and everything and I said to you gosh can you imagine liking someone that much yeah can you imagine loving someone that yeah. much and I think you can now and I think um, all of your gosh, fears can be put to rest because you, you're going to bang me into eternity. So that's a nice thing. That's a real nice thing. Mm. Um, again, I want everything to replica like the company says they're going to do. Right. That's everything, obviously. Uh, dick, balls. Uh-huh. Uh, Amount of, of hair. Taints. Yeah. Taint. I, the exact. Thigh hair. I don't have any, but um, I want the exact. You have strays. That's uh, what I want. I I'm, want a couple every other. I'm very uh, smooth, lochty down there. Yeah, yeah. Like shaving like a swimmer almost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, not you know, not on purpose, obviously. Right. This is how God graced me. Mm-hmm. I don't even have a chest hair, so obviously they're going to have to get that right as well. But uh, pretty stoked. 
pretty stoked. Since we're keeping in the sex theme here, I, something fucked me up last night. What? I watched that uh, MTV Movie Awards slash TV Awards. Used to be just movies. Now it's TV. All the categories are kind of combined. There's genderless. no. It's all genderless now. Sure. And just full of butt fuckery and wonderment. Mm-hmm. Um, Everyone is one. Hmm. Singular. Don't really know where to start with this one. Uh, best documentary. Where, where do you think that went? Ruth know. Bader Ginsburg, maybe. Maybe. Nah. Eh, In a, a prayer. group like that. She, she was nominated. Really? Yeah. RBG. Gosh, they really did not strike the right tone with any of the rbg stuff they did no they, they just didn't. didn't fucking get it none so the like surviving some nerd was like oh people are super into rbg nobody is nobody's and they RBG. got it wrong yeah, for yeah. one second people were like kind of doing it as a joke and they made this tried to make this whole thing happen from it's, it. a, it's a fun flirty meme and is it, what it, it is it, remember the notorious rbg it's a fun, flirty meme. It's like she does. She has her workout videos, things like this. And some fucking nerd yeah. was like, guys, I've got the next big thing. And they were wrong. Yeah, they were way, way wrong. Because when we were faced with an actual longer than a gif yeah. of, of RBG, we all fell right to sleep. Yeah. We all just shut boring. down and fell to sleep. Because yep. it wasn't actually... Interesting. No, not at, at all. all. None. She's none just an all. older, small, older gal that tries to stay fit. Yeah. You so, know? So the winner was Surviving R. Kelly. Of course. Um, oh. Here's the two problems I have with this. Let's right? hear it. It's not the MTV crowd. Mm-hmm. Surviving R. Kelly is not the MTV crowd. Let's face it. R. Kelly was on MTV over yeah. and over and over again for years and years and years. So it's a little bit shocking that they were like, yeah, fuck, man. We used to play his music religiously. Right. Now we're going to give it to the, the, the girls who came forward who and did this documentary. It, yeah. Then all of the girls who got pissed on or whatever else. One of them got pissed on, yeah. And then the I, other we ones. I, well, look, yeah, there's know. video of one, right? But we can assume that it happened more than once. Probably. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> if you got it on camera one time. I'm assuming everyone assume, was soaked yeah. at one point. Yeah, you can assume that's in like their life. your thing. Yeah, so all these, all these ladies get on stage. Sure. But a couple of them are dressed like super, <laughs> super whorish. Where you're just sure. like... Hey, man, as much as I want to believe you and all that stuff and everything that you guys went through, why are you dressed like that now? Like half of them were conservative, Mm -hmm. like dressed conservatively of like, oh, thank you very much. And this is nice. Three of them were like, yo, we just won an MTV movie award. We're going to hit the fucking clubs tonight. Right. That's the it's probably the wrong message to send to girls. Just throwing that out there. Right. I mean, this one girl just had her tits out. Like she was already, I mean, she was already two ace of spades deep. Like sure. just saying, fuck it. Like I'm ready to, I'm ready to roll out tonight. Wrong message. Yeah. Wrong message for the, for the younger girls out there. I think in that particular instance, possibly, I don't think in life, I think she can dress however she wants, but I do hear you. Go conservative. Just for this one thing. And I try to think back, like when this Best has happened. Best documentary. The, the ESPYs was the last time this was this happened where uh the the gymnasts all the gymnasts yes, got up on they stage, got together yeah. but they were all like very solemn in and, a gown and dressed. yeah yeah like all right great this is not a celebration this is not a holy shit we just won an mtv we're not movie going to award. the clubs yeah yeah they were all very like all right uniform and this this <laughs> there was a couple of them though last night that were just like where's the rocket right let's right. go out tonight right because the rock was there and he won an award what, oh, he, what did he win? Some kind of big... Lo- Vanguard or some Street Happy or whatever the fuck they're calling it these days. Transformational that, Tuesday yeah, guy. They've, they've changed the entire format of the MTV yeah. movie slash music awards to the point where like, I don't know if anybody's watching this anymore. Yeah. I, I think I might have. And I didn't even know it was on anymore because they yeah. don't really promote it. So I think it was probably me and four other people that were watching that shit. And probably the rock was there. He got his award and he got it first, like kind of in the first 20 minutes of the show. I guarantee you his people called them and were like, look, 
we'll do this whole this whole shit, but you put us in the first twenty, and then we out. Then we out. We're gonna you put the limo around back. I'm gonna accept this bitch sure. and then get out of there. Sure. Um, same with Sandra Bullock. Oh yeah, she was in the in Oof. the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was like, man, she was. It was so. It seems so out of place. I'm just like, it's weird. Well, there's so much older than the generation of everybody right. else there, where it's just like, you know. There's somebody with tits and a dick, and you're like, man, is that, what are we doing here? Sure. Who's that person? They're like, oh, sure. that's a fucking Instagram model from yeah. Beijing who they're just, you know, trotting out, who was an extra and in Sandra something. Sandra Bullock's like, what's happening anymore? Because that's kind of what it is. Like, the influencers are more famous almost mm-hmm. than the actors themselves. Yeah, so people like, are like, Sandra who? Yeah, you're, exactly. Yeah. You're panning to the crowd, and you're like, man, I can I, th- I think I can spot like two people from movies. Yeah. The rest of them like, oh, they've got a Snapchat account that's huge. And they're at the MTV movie slash TV awards, but they're not really in a movie or on TV anymore. Yeah. So it was strange, man. I gave it, you know, I gave it a shot for about a half hour. And then once the R. Kelly girls got up there, I was like, no. Nope, and good. also, I don't know anybody that's either presenting or <laughs> getting awards anymore. And I don't your bo- like- you know your boy was hosting. Oh yeah, Zachary Zach Pugh. Pugh. Yeah, it's Zach Levi. Zach Levi, but yeah. in the days that I knew him, his name was Zachary Pugh. But good job changing it, right? Yeah, you have to change he, that re- name. He really just nope. Yeah, you don't. After you don't that go with change, P-E-W. he really just yeah. skyrocketed. Um, happy, happy for that. Did he do okay? I mean, he was fine. Ish. You know, look, he's a likable guy. He's affable. He, I did totally. A, I did a movie with and that guy, good. and he's like just a good dude yeah. all the way around. So. I don't have any complaints out of it. It's a tough crowd But I just to go don't, it into. makes me feel old, so I don't like to watch it anymore. So it makes me feel old and out of touch. So it's like these kids that are in like Riverdale, let's say, that I don't watch, right? Right. And they're the big stars of the show. And I'm kind of like, I don't fucking know you, dude. Like, <laughs> And uh, that makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> and so I don't like to really put myself in those kind of situations anymore. Yeah, my uh, my buddy. Oh, he was on the show. Uh, Riley Smith, who was who was on the show. In, yes. Uh, in the early days, he just booked. So he's he's a regular on Nancy Drew, and that's gonna air Again, like, after. I yeah. I think Riverdale. So and it'll probably he could be, the be same. styling, dude. Shout out to Riley out there. He could be styling. He's, he he's a- his biggest issue is like every show he does goes like one season, then it's done. Oh. I think Nancy Drew though that could be big. Yeah, I mean it's got the name yeah so is he like a dad or i don't know teacher that's the thing is i i don't know but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait and see what it is he could be like a daddy maybe he's or, dating one or of the a teacher younger yeah gal. yeah you a don't teacher, know a hot teacher maybe nancy's teacher yeah we'll see we'll see what it is ray j was there by the way um and they they did a joke about the the, the kardashian sex tape it was like hey man that wow. was does anyone in the room even know Whoever what Ray J's s- dating or married to flicked him off, flicked off the camera, and they just left it on MTV. They said, fuck it. Isn't he dating someone sort of famous? Don't know. Don't know. Okay. Didn't tell you. Love Ray J, though. He's a sponsor. He's a sponsor of the show, so of Drinking Bros. Raycon by Raycon.com. Oh, really? Yeah, he owns, he owns uh, Raycon. Thanks, Ray J. You're awesome. And they just picked us up for the rest of the year, so that happened last night. Uh, so shout out to Ray J. Um, that motherfucker's a businessman. I'll tell you that. He's I mean, got, he's got the, you know, he just sold his shares in Bird too. The, uh, oh, the scooter. Right. He made like 1.8 off of those. Those headphones are dope as fuck. He owns that company. When I opened up, I just want to, I'll say real quick, but yeah, when yeah. I wo- opened up that package, I was like, somebody, it, it was rivaling Beats in that, like the packaging and like the feel of it. Yep. Everything was, I was like, holy shit. Like this is not a yeah. a cheapy thing or whatever a a one like this is right up there with it. But. He does legit shit like, and now it makes sense because I'm like he's not going to put a, headphones out that aren't fucking rad. Yeah, you know it, what I mean. You know what the weird thing is, you know the money came from was the sex tape. Oh, to all this of day, it. His, Same with his Kim's, residual, by the way, uh, dude. His residual checks or have been outstanding, and he invested well and good on him, man. I mean, fuck the Kardashians. The dude owns like forty companies, so. Money, right? What's that? The Kardashians must be sending him money. It's not the Kardashians. So the, the tape sold to uh, Vivid. Vivid owns the oh, rights okay. to it. So he gets residuals like like one of my movies where you're just like, all right, cool, man. Shit's just showing up four times a year. You know, for, 
It's an interesting uh, mailbox money to get, right? You're like, Ugh. it is. And I talked to the, <laughs> I, I talked to the dude um, who owns the Vivid, Vivid guy. Yeah. yeah, it's the biggest money making sex tape of all time. He said, and they're continuously fighting it online so that you have to buy it through them. Mm-hmm. Like you can't, you can, at home has a little fun test for you. Uh, you can just try tell and your, find it. Yeah, tell your wife it's research. Go on Pornhub and try to find it or X videos and all that. And they uh, have someone where cannot, it's like their full time job to get it off the it, internet as soon as it pull, puts yep. up. Yeah. So I and I guess because I asked the guy, I was like, "What's the Stephen Hirsch is his name?" Um, I don't know what the fuck is happening with Vivid anymore. If that's still a thing, but um, I mean, it's got to be a dying situation. But. One would think. But I asked him, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, there's something where we're cool with people putting up like two minute clips because it's kind of." Promoting. Advertising, yeah. Exactly. But anything past that, they rip. And he's like, it's, it, he said it was like whack a mole where you're just constantly oh, yeah. trying to pull That's the shit down. That's what I'm saying. Down. Someone, for, for something like that, someone needs to be sitting at the computer all day and night yeah. just, just delete, delete, searching delete. Google, Google uh, alert. Cease and desist. Yeah. Yeah. Cease and desist. Yeah. Cease and desist. Yeah. Cease and desist. Um, Cease and desist. But yeah, man. Uh, I, I can't get into that shit anymore. And like, um, again, it's not, it's not as if time has passed me on the MTV shit. Like, dude, I listen to all of it, mm-hmm. watch all of it. Um, it's just the, the levels of fame now are so much different where, you know, you take a, a show like a CW show. You're, if you have a two rating, like 2 million viewers, you're good. But in the grand scheme of things on, you know, 330 million people mm-hmm. in the United States, 2 million doesn't make a fucking dent no and talk to there's a reason why podcast and you know rogan i mean shit our show is 1.6 million drinking bros is 5.2 million that's way more than like a, a riverdale or yeah. or whatever they can put on their network hence i understand why they're putting like influencers and shit in there like if amanda cerny posts something congratulations she, she she's got more views than the entire mtv movie right. awards so I understand it. I just, you know, scattering through that audience trying to figure out, you know, who the trans superstar is from some weird country is I'm like, F- bro, I don't I don't fucking know. Right. Um, let's put let's put some real goddamn talent up there mm-hmm. and then we'll know. But uh, eh, yeah, it is what it is. Like that Aquafina chick was nominated twice. She lost. I don't mind her. I don't I don't either. She's great. She's mm-hmm. fucking hilarious. She was up for the breakout star. Yeah. Didn't win. And I was like, what do you remember? What world are we in? Uh, yes, it was a stuff? white, it was a big white dude, kind okay. of, a an Ophi looking white dude who won. All right. You know, like a, like a jock from like a teen movie. And like, it like, uh, 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 like a bigger uh, uh, version uh, 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 of me. He's going to play He-Man. They said next. Oh, okay. In the dark, live action. Darker Berman hair. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Got it. Hard to explain because it, you don't really see people that look. Like him, not that not white people, obviously, but uh, people that look like him, where it was just like, oh man, this is like your stereotypical bad guy. Where it's like, I don't know, I don't know what else he would fit into, but uh, besides He Man, yeah, yeah. So you know, all all of the clips they showed, it's all like you know, make sure every race is represented across right. the board and all this shit. He was making out with some Asian girl, and then yeah, he ended they up winning best, best kiss, kiss as well. Noah yeah. Centineo, yeah, you bet. Again. You bet. What's his shit? What's, what's he from? Um, it was from To All the Boys. Yeah. To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I think that's Netflix. I feel like I saw it on there. Okay. Yeah, not my jam. But like, I didn't see you up there. Me? No, I know. Well, not you. You. Like that, like if you're looking for a teen drama like that like yeah why the fuck wasn't you nominated for a bunch of that shit like to me that's a hot next netflix show i haven't heard of i haven't heard of this show at all right i've heard of the noah Syndergaard thing but i think it's it's because it's a picture for the mets <laughs> i'm seeing like a, a lot of older people winning though uh, who else? Yeah, there was some. There was some. There was some surprises. Uh, the the guy from Shit's Creek won. Yeah, and he even got up there and was just like, "This is not my demographic, dude." Yeah, it was the it was the brother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, and he was write, like, Yo, he writes this is the not show, produces shit. the show, whatever. But like, and he's 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 not old, but he's older, and he's also like, the whole show is making fun of 
all of those people. Yeah. So interesting. Josh Brolin. Brolin got in beater. there for best villain. Yeah. Um, Robert Downey for best hero. Well, you're Elizabeth still, you're, Moss look, for best performance. Yeah, yeah, you're still in all the the superhero shit, obviously. So right, that makes sense to me. Yeah, Dan Levy for Shit's Creek. Yeah. Okay, and then Breakthrough. Yeah, and then Best Fight. Now we're getting into real life hero though. Best real life hero. Who you got? RBG. Oh no! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's when I turned it off. <laughs> yeah, against Serena Williams. What world? Yeah, she hasn't what won. are you talking about? She hasn't won a tournament in over a year, I don't think. Yeah, but real life hero, I would say over time, she had Serena. A baby. She had a fucking baby. What, what was she a hero of? A real life hero. Oh, but is, is it this year? Do you have to be a hero this year or was it all, all the years? Oh, I guess just this year. Yeah, because that's the way the it should be. The free solo guy, Alex Honnold, yeah, the yeah. free solo guy. He won, he won the Oscar. Roman Reigns from WWE SmackDown. Yeah. RBG, Serena Williams. Serena hasn't won a tournament in a year. She's not really a hero. Pick okay. somebody who won. Okay. Then, then congratulations. There's your hero. Best host. RBG. Hang on. RBG. Yeah. Was she best hero for staying alive? I guess. You know? She didn't die. She didn't die this she year? She just fell on the ground a yeah. bunch, though. Just, like, straight up <laughs> fell off from nothing and broke ribs. So I guess I'm just, like, a little confused. Uh, 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 that's, just nothing. Nothing. Nah. Just, uh, I mean, you she, know? she is a hero for staying alive. And good for her. Because what is she, 86, 85, 86, somewhere in there? Okay. I mean, I guess if that's the criteria. Yeah. Because so. every year, if you're giving away a hero award, mm -hmm. there's going to be another one next year, right? <laughs> you should be a hero for that year. You know? Okay. <laughs> that's, all, that's what my requirements are. All right. If you're going to give away a, a best hero award, be a hero from that year, you know? I think Serena did a lot of other hero-like things. She had a baby. Besides having a baby and besides winning. But anyway, I, I think, think she's a... Nope. Okay. Not in my Nick book. Nick Cannon, your favorite. Nick Cannon, winner of Best Host. Was he really? Uh-huh. Fuck Nick Cannon. Best musical moment. I mean, they get one right. Yeah. Since we're here and I worked, <laughs> I, and I worked on Nick Cannon's show. You going to tell a, a, a quick Nick Cannon story while we're sure. at it? Sure. Um, I was going to sing I'm, Shallow, but I'm that's feeling, fine. Uh, Sparing you guys. <laughs> I'm feeling. Sparing you, my lady. Gaga. Spry today. I'm feeling okay. real spry today. Mm -hmm. Salty a little bit. So Nick Cannon, his office was next to mine at MTV's. Um, we were doing the show. And then I ended up doing a couple episodes of his show. And Which our, one? Uh, Wild and Out? No, the sketch show. <laughs> oh, okay. I had to fucking scroll through my IMDb to do it. But gotcha. I did a, a few McConaughey sketches for him and wrote some shit. And uh, um, <laughs> he shows up in this fucking car. All of our budgets at MTV, every show, was $250,000. Okay. Every single thing, right? And he had given this speech like he was, you know, of the people and the fucking streets and all this other shit, right? Shows up in a $375,000 Lamborghini the next day. And I was like, hey, man, remember that speech you were given? Like, you just showed up in a car hey, that was twice the budget of our show. And we got paid like nothing on that show. Right. Like, I got like $80 in, a, in an HJ, in an alley, you know, like, take... Mm -hmm take this 80 and get the wow. fuck out of there yeah yeah and if it was from somebody rad awesome i'll sure. take 80 in an hj but sure uh, i think my salary was like i don't know like eight i, I walked away after taxes with like 800 bucks or something and i was oh, like God. you just showed up in a lambo that was 375 and just but you're a man of the people <laughs> man of the people I remember huh. walking in, talking to my editor, and I was like, this can't be real. This, this can't. What fucking world are we living in? And it had some, he had like uh, the head of Mickey Mouse, like engraved on the seats. Oh. Yeah, it had a Disney theme on the inside. And I was like, what? Crazy. And a, and a huge chain of like a Mickey Mouse head. Okay. I never asked at that point. Sure. After the car thing, I was like, mm -hmm. if you're into Mickey, congrats. Um, I don't get people <laughs> like that. But hey, man, and we, we watched, St everywhere. you know, Stamos, John Stamos, too. We watched that shit the other night and they had all that Disney shit. Yeah, in but in like a real weird yeah. way, like she's just going along with Stamos's strange. No, she's in it. 
She's like, I am this, I'm the biggest I'm gonna Disney fan. I'm going to tell you something about being married. <laughs> um, she is not into it, but she will never let him know that she's not into it. And she will go right along that train. I don't know, And man. he has sucked her in. There's no way you're going to find two weirdos that are that into Disney memorabilia from the lot. They have like the old D. From yeah, yeah, the yeah, Disney yeah. The thing, original like, D the from The original Disney. D from when they like revamped the whole place like oh, yeah. a couple of years ago. And just Disney stuff. Every, ch- ch- like you're walking into a museum. So I'm going to tell you something. She would like to stay with Stamos uh-huh. for other reasons. Yeah, yeah. And she is going on this Disney train with him because that's what you do in marriage. <laughs> but... <laughs> Gosh, I she sometimes and I promise you when she's with her girlfriends, she sometimes is like, it's a lot. It's a lot of Disney stuff. Yeah. But he loves it. You know, it makes him happy. So and they're like, girl, it's creepy as fuck. Do you like it? Mm. Um, It's like that. Well, so it's a lot of that. Here's the thing. You were cooking on a Friday night. Um, we, ate, we that's just a little bit about me. Yeah, what else? <laughs> what else? What else? Uh, what up? You know, I do what I can. <laughs> uh huh. So I was you, cooking on a Friday you were night. Cooking on a Friday night, and I'm super uh, cool. Uh, in the background, you know, we'll leave the TV on. Whatever it is, usually entertainment tonight, or mm-hmm. what's extra testicle? Yeah. What's the other show? Mm-hmm. Access Hollywood. One of the two. There's two. So yeah. extra and entertainment tonight. No fucking idea which one sure. we were watching. But the Stamos story came on. Both of us just stopped and we were like, wait, what? Is it's he, a fun he little kept, fact about Stamos. But he kept going around to, uh-huh. to every room in his house had different Disneyland memorabilia. Big. Like taking up the <laughs> yeah. whole room. Like you kind of have to walk Half around. the backyard the, full of the, shit. The, the Toontown couch that he has like for his <laughs> real couch. And it's like hard, but it looks like soft, you know, they, at, in Toontown. Yeah. Lights, lots of lights. Uh, it was very, uh, again, it was a fun little fact about him. He had one of the heads from Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the ride. The, like one of the original pirate heads. And yo, that was next to the yo, bed. Ho, and it like it pours the thing out over your head, you yeah. know, when you're like going under. <laughs> that was next, right next to the bed. And uh, yeah. dude. So, and I think it's motion. They had it like connected to some motion center sensor. So when something happened like big in the bed or whatever, yeah. it would yo ho, yo ho. Yeah. And it would just like pour down on them. As soon as he comes, that's yeah. what, it, that's what happens. Is yeah. He and they had a trip up. wire. They had a trip, a trip wire. wire yeah. Yeah. Yo ho, yo ho. Very like creepy <laughs> animatronic. Yep. Yeah. And then a presidential head, the heads of the presidents come out of the wall. And uh, How, he had the holograms, yeah, from yeah, the haunted uh, house it's, in it's Disney. It's yep. FDR. It's, mm-hmm. it's Roosevelt who just pops out and goes, thank you for fucking Stamos. Yeah, and the girl. And just winks. The girl that he's with is like, yep. <laughs> it's awesome. We both really love it the same amount. That's how it is. 23 years younger. 23 years younger. She doesn't love it. And you know what? She may because she, she is might. that young. But yeah. She seemed to have a childlike quality to her. Very childlike. So mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I felt positive about the whole sitch yep. and everything they're doing. Yep. All the Full House dudes. Remember, we talked about this before where they're all married, remarried now. 22 years younger. I- each one of them. Each one of Saget, them. The same amount. Coulier and Stamos. All those. Whose wife brought it up, though? Saget. I think oh, Saget's yeah, yeah. Saget. wife is kind of funny. And yeah. she's the one that brought it up. Well, look, and they if, were all like, huh? huh yep. Yeah, you, right. If you're married to Saget, you know, he's you've got to be. Bag. Yeah. You've got to be a little bit on the level because he's just yeah. he's the most out there and different and weird and dirtbag. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. you've got to definitely have a sense of humor. Uh, humor. 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 <laughs> uh, we were just rapping. Is I it don't, humor? I, I, who, who knows? Oh, my gosh. We have sponsors. Yeah, we do. That I was like, oh, are we getting to be to on the, the air on a daily <laughs> basis? Uh, first and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is our chief sponsor. Uh, if you want the presidential heads in the back of, of the ghost bed, talk to Stamos about it. Talk to Stamos. I'm like, he's got the a guy. Wire pirate. Yeah. Animatronic pirate. Yeah. Right. Right. As you nut. Right. As you fucking nut. I won't say it. A lot of people wrote in after that, by the way. Never about want me. to hear that phrase about again out of your me mouth. me being just one of the guys. That's what you want, huh? Yep. 
It's what you want, guys. Be one of the guys or gals. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress if you're military or first responder. 15% off for life. Uh, go scroll to the bottom of the page and get your shit. We just ordered some beds from there yesterday for the office. Yes. Um, so they'll be here on Monday. I'm super stoked about it. Uh, the fucking Ghost Lux and all that shit is for all sizes of the mattress. And every month they're giving away something for free. This one's the cooling cover that is also water resistant. Keeps your bed fresh. Um, and again. And cool. This is one of the most important things for me. Yeah. Not to brag, but I'm a sweaty Betty. And oh, God. What? A that's fra- a real thing. That's, nope, that's not a real, a real thing. thing. Also Look not it up. a phrase I want to hear you ever, ever Everyone again. knows that, right? Sweaty Betty. No. It's a thing. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Sweaty Betty. So I'm a sweaty Betty at night. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up. Again, don't be jealous, everyone. But the cooling aspect of that cover, mm-hmm. A, works, and B, is very important to A. A sweaty Betty like myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, my question was, because you usually get a gift bag if you win at MTV, for the mm-hmm. MTV Movie Awards. Did they give the, like, was Ghost Bed, did they give the cooling covers, like the, the waterproof covers to the, the R. Kelly people? Just in case it happens again, you know? Sometimes you get, sometimes you get pissed on in this life. Sometimes you're the pisser, sometimes again. you're the pissy. Again, that's not something that you just try one time, right? <laughs> that is, uh, if, if you've done it once, I think we can be pretty sure that it's happened yeah. multiple times. And so, you, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're an R. Kelly out there, don't soak your mattresses. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. 36 months, no interest. Pay as you go program. No one's offering that. And look, if you don't like the mattress after the first 30 days, you can ship it on back for free. And get your but money we back. I promise you will. It, you would be a, a monster. A dumb, dumb. A monster yeah. if, you didn't, if you didn't love this kind of comfort. Agreed. But anyway. Yeah. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. <laughs> blinkers. Yeah. Jabes, that, you had a little something extra in there today. I like got that a lot. Little, I've got a little spice. I've but got I'll a little what, spice in my omelet today. I got a, I got a roll down to San Antoine here on Friday. So I'm going to have a, a couple drinks tonight. I'm going to pick up some vodka, throw in some strike forces, and enjoy my life tonight, I think. Okay. Um, Why? Just got to relax, I feel like. Oh. I got I to relax, you mm-hmm. know, be me. I'm about to yep. record an audio book. Okay. You just did your voices today. I did. Uh, for for Matt, Matt Best. Thank you for my service. By the way, go buy a copy on thankyouformyservice.com. Uh, it'll be signed by Matt, but you have until July 15th to do it. Great segue. And uh, you were great. You were fantastic. Um, Thank you. I just think, I think the audiobook is going to be so funny. It's going to be awesome. And that's the reason I'm, like I'm, I'm having some Matt's drinks tonight. Voice, yeah. yeah, I'm having some drinks tonight celebrating that because we're done with your chunk. My chunk. Mine's on my chunk. The chunk. Four amazing flavors. Lemon, orange, original, and make America grape again. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. The grape is my, my jam. That's my fucking jam, though. I'll I tell like you that an much. ridge. Eh, you like it? I, I put some in that Defy, too, the other day after, after a workout. I love that shit. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Last but not least, this is what you came for. StraightRazors.com. Ooh. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Sound, sound guy's about to lose his, his ears. Go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to. Oh, you like it? Oh, boy. That had some stink on it. Did that hurt you? It. Did it hurt? Oh, no, he's a profesh. He's, he's a professional. Profesh. He's professional. Uh, I was like worried. It's got the finest razors. <laughs> For every human in the world, if you want to be smooth like an Asian or myself, I, dude, I have very Asian features, I think. And I mean, uh, not my penis, obviously, but uh, right. very smooth, very hairless. Yeah, and, you're uh, ha- hairless. I don't know. Your face is not. Uh, uh, look, it, it's very Asian, I think. It's very. Oh, yeah. My mind. Yeah. My age mind. wise, like aging. Yeah. Slow don't aging. Age. Smooth like yes, a seal. Smooth features. I still have a round eye. Blatant disregard for anyone else around you. A lot of Asian people call me round eye too, by the way. A lot, of, a lot of Asians call me round eye. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. That's a, that's a very, 
I think it's a nice thing to call an American. Lots of pictures of your food. Yeah, you're Fuck definitely off, round eye. pretty like that, Asian. Yeah, get that a lot. Uh, Straightrazors.com's got everything you need in this life to be a real man. Uh, shampoos, beard oils, mustache waxes, conditioners. Their straight razors are second to none. And uh, if you're worried about using that, you can use a safety razor. And again, great for pregnant bushes. Nope. Yep. Don't. Again, I can't. If you're s- pregnant, stress out there. this enough. Do not do that. You can get very hurt. Yeah. I, the the only thing they said they said that I was correct. The sponsor. Um, they said, don't do it in the third trimester. Don't do it all. So, nope. Do it. You can don't do, do first it at two all. tries. Don't do it at all. First two tries easy. You can do that, ladies. Uh, straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Um, man, they're doing it. They're just doing it today. All the way across the board. Who? Boom. Sex doll. Replica of your dead lover. Blam. Done. Blam. That is in the bank. Now they get a bracelet that is shocking people out of smoking and eating. Real amped about that. When I saw it, because I, I pulled it up and I was like, oh, dude, let me see this fucking thing. It goes on your wrist and it shocks the shit out of you if you, if you try to smoke but or eat at certain hours. You could just take it off. You could take it off, but I don't think you will. Like a dog. You're That's just treating it is. yourself like a dog. Like what the fuck is wrong so with that? So it looks us? like a dog collar, right? Mm-mm. Very similar to that, nope. but a little thicker. Nope. And it just shocks your wrist. And you can, you can push the voltage up a lot. I like it, Jabes. Nope. I'm into it. You ever been shocked uh, with a taser? No. It's not taser shocking. You, if you idiot pop that thing up to 10, if you crank that thing up to 11, it's going to shock the shit out of you. So I want to know your level of, of pain threshold and whether or not you've ever shocked yourself. Where are you at on that? I've never shocked myself. Never. No. What Not do you even mean? with like a small taser or anything. A small taser. Yeah. You ever, you ever get one of those uh, Dollar General tasers where it's like, hey, Gosh, it's I, not the powerful We are living shit. in a different <laughs> world, a different time. Okay. A Dollar General taser and just a little zing zing. Um, I've yeah. done, you know, those like joke handshake things where it like buzzes yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I've that, done that. that a child has. Yeah. Right. I've done that. But no, I don't, uh, I don't typically try that stuff out. I see people doing the taser thing mm-hmm. like for fun and it makes me want to throw up. Gotcha. Like that kind of, yeah, I can't, sure. I can't watch it. Don't like that. But, um, I this a- idea of, uh, of, of us not being able to overcome these things. I, I'm, I'm in it. I had a dog once that in, in LA uh, was, was barking a lot and like just shitting all over the floor. I couldn't stop it. Uh huh. Crate trained it, everything. Sure. Fucking thing just destroyed the house. So they were like, look, you should try a shock collar. Mm-hmm. Just try like a little tiny shock collar. And I was like, all right, cool, man. I'm fucking into it. Right. So I went and got this shock collar. And then I, I, cause it, it's got, you know, levels up to like 10 or whatever. And I'm like, I got to test this thing out before, before I put this you on put the it dog. on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Good. Started off with a three, right? Mm-hmm. It was a little something where I was like, ah, fuck. This is some, like, this is a little bit stronger coffee than I'm mm-hmm. used to. It was kind of like that, you know? Right, right. Um, then I went up to a six and I was like. And you're a tenderfoot, so. I was like, I, no. I, I, I'm okay. I'm really good with, with shocking and some oh, type shocking. of taser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything else, really no? good. With that. Okay. Terrible with needles. Ter- I'll, I'll admit needles, it. Terrible with needles. Needles. A little pull of the hair. A little scratch. A little bit of blood. I have a, a, little I have a bit very of tender caught head. In your throat. No, I don't things give a shit are, about that. You're very tender about no. certain things. The, it's the two it's things that I'm tender about that you have a problem with. <laughs> yes, I don't like to have my hair pulled, Jesse. That's fucking. But real. I mean, just the tight. Uh, uh, uh. So uh, there's certain things no. that are very you get two it's things. a cut. Uh, I don't bleeding. Care. I don't care about that. You do. You get a little. You aren't as bad anymore because you kind of like saw me like chop my finger off and stuff and be fine. So you've like come up a little well, bit. You've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> to what? Where it's just like <laughs> if I, like you've done things to the point where you're like, oh man, your finger is hanging off your body. You probably should have gone in. You were like, no. <laughs> 
No, I'm good. So anyway. <laughs> and you'll ask for something that it, in one of those brown bottles, of like peroxide or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, where yeah, you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll put some of that on there. Yeah. And then you'll duct tape a, a giant, you know, half a roll of <laughs> paper towel around it. And I'm like, ah, probably should have got that sewn up. But uh, man, you live your and life. And you'll get like something caught in your throat and it's like the whole house is at your aid. Who, me? That is not true. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. Oh, well, I almost died, I, motherfucker. That's a different story. You were talking. Story. You were talking. Uh, barely. I was barely able to talk, but I was... <laughs> uh, when I took a sip of water, I almost choked to death and died that day. Uh, again, you can get my sex doll, uh, a replica of myself. <laughs> okay. So maybe that's what you were hoping for. Okay, with this, so anyway. With the dog collar. Right, and you tried it. You get you got up to a what? A six? Got up, I got it up at a six. Couldn't get to a like, ten. I, no, I went to ten after Okay, that. and then um, what? And I was like, oh, fuck. That's, that's for real. That's too much for a dog. Okay. <laughs> they probably should not have sold that that high of a shock collar for a dog. Right. You might want to have tested that out first or whatever. Um, and then I had one of those things for... Uh, I had a blood clot in my leg one time mm -hmm. and they were giving you some type of nerve therapy or whatever the fuck it was. Right. And the doctor let me take it home with me. Mm -hmm. The, where you turn up the own on, on your yeah, own yeah, yeah. and then blasted that thing sky high. And we used to test that out to see mm -hmm. who could, uh, you know, withstand the much, the most pain. Yeah. And, uh, I had a fun time with that. That's so with the fun. bracelet thing, I'm in, um, I don't know why you're in. So you would wear it and, and anytime you what, give it a think shot. of eating something? Yeah, my weakness is uh, right around uh, 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. And it's chips. It's fucking chips. So you, don't, you think that you're, you can't overcome the willpower, but you think that you will have the willpower enough to leave the bracelet on. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's, that's the thing is yep. like if you think that you... Don't have the willpower enough to get the chips. You don't think for one second that you'd be like, okay, I'll just take this off. And no, you get, there's you'll be something able to be about like, it. I'm going to get shocked. There's nothing I can do about it. If it's an implant, possibly. If it's a bracelet you can take off, it defeats the whole purpose of what it's trying to overcome anyways. You want a cigarette? Take the fucking bracelet off. And no. like, you're a real, you're a person, right? I'll tell you why. With so well, I, I had that Nike fuel band for a while, right? I had it for shit man like a year. like you're gonna forget it's on a year and a half no but like dude i didn't i didn't want to take it off because i i knew if i hit a certain mark or whatever right mm -hmm. this the uh, four thousand steps or whatever the fuck it was mm -hmm. right and fireworks come in yeah yeah it shoots off fireworks mm -hmm. and congratulations and you get a whole like burger thing like wheeled out to you all of it yeah yeah i mean it was very nice totally. everything that they were doing at nike totally. it was um they really do it they right, had like a they? digitized like Marilyn monroe like skirt blowing up and yeah it was as like, soon as you hit those steps yeah and i didn't i didn't take it off and i was like all right cool man because this is helping me do something and and okay. it did. I lost weight, did like it was you know good shape and all that shit. So with this, yeah, dude, if if this was gonna shock the shit out of me to drop the Cool Ranch, okay. Because when you have kids, there's just snack pack bags of chips everywhere. Your adult willpower needs to really kick up a notch when you have kids in the house, and that is true. You're right about it's that. hard, yeah. And yeah. that's why everybody gets like dad bods and shit like that is because. Children eat the greatest food on the planet. Um, and you have to force them to eat it, and then they don't eat it all, and you end up eating it. Correct. So it's, it's chips. Um, and I'll go uh, like along the, the whole array here um, of chili cheese. Have you, heard, have you heard of this debate? Mm-mm. Oof. Jabes. Jabes is it right up my Is it right up my chally? Uh, it is. My um, chip alley? I'm going to look up, uh, it's, I think it's chip debate in a snack pack. And what people, is the idea? People were going bug fuck over this. Um, all right. You tell me because it, it's, uh, it's aggressive here where I don't, I don't know the right answer um, of this at all. And I, like every time I went over this scenario in my head, because people started freaking out on the internet. This was like maybe three months ago. Um, and it, and it lasted for a while. Uh, so here we go, right? Two different types of Doritos were in this snack pack. So what do you go? What's your one through, one through fiber, right? Mm -hmm. Cool Ranch, nacho cheese, 
two different kinds of Lay's, which is the original and the tangy barbecue, uh, the, the salty Fritos, and then the crunchy Cheetos. I flip-flopped back and forth on this forever. I don't want My, barbecue. I want sour cream and onion. I don't well, you, want this, this is your choice. So you just need to go through, yes. go through all of those. Yep. Yeah, so I would go crunchy Cheetos first. Okay. I know that's a surprise. No, I like that. I like that. Crunchy Cheetos, Doritos second. Which Notch, Cool Ranch or? Cool Ranch first. Okay. Cool Ranch second. Nacho cheese third. Okay. Barbecue Lay's okay. fourth. Regular Lay's fifth. Yep. Yep. And is Fritos last for you? Yeah. I'm lot, never reaching for a, a salty lot of people, Frito. It's funny you said that. A lot of people said that and I, I love Fritos, man. Like, so Fritos is, <laughs> this is the So my gut boring. feeling as soon as I heard this list, right? I went immediately to Cool Ranch. My mind, my body, my spirit immediately sure. went to Cool Ranch and I was like, fuck you guys, dude. It's Cool Ranch all day. Right. That's where I'm going onesies with. Right. Twosies. And then I was like, oh shit. And then I got into it. Because mm-hmm. I had I had barbecue lays then after that. Oh, right after? Yeah. And then wow, it switched. Wow. It switched and I'll tell you I where, don't know where you it at switched. All. Somebody I I knew posted, you. I don't know you. Somebody posted an open bag of crunchy Cheetos. And then my whole order flip flopped. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh no. It just brings you right back. Yeah. To bologna sandwich days, right? So I switched it. I, I ended up going crunchy Cheetos first, Cool Ranch second, um, the barbecue third, the nacho cheese at four, Fritos at five, and then I had the plain old, plain old Lay's uh, after that. And that was the end of my shit. But like, dude, gut, gut reaction was Cool Ranch first. Okay. It really was. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then I, sw- I swapped it over. Okay. So the fact that I had this kind of raw emotion, Jabes. About the chips. About the chips. Yeah. Says I need to get a fucking shot collar for my hand. Because this, I looked at this like this was a goddamn Rubik's Cube trying to put this, this puzzle together to here for me, these chips. To me, what helps is actually like losing a tiny bit of weight. And then I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yeah, then you're good. Don't go for the chips, blah, blah, blah. It's when I'm already not great that I, it's like with anything, like I always say, like when you feel bad, you want to feel worse. When, you're, when you feel good, you want to feel better. Yeah. But it's like, if you kind of already feel bad about yourself, you're like, I'll just have a fucking, I'll just have a bag of chips. It's like, what the fuck is the point? Yeah, listen to, listen to some Sarah McLaughlin in the bathtub, yeah. you know? But when you're feeling a little bit good, like you've lost a couple, you just want to feel better. And okay. so that's the only thing that really works for me. A shock, I think I'm too controlling in that I'll just take it off and be like, this is what I want to do right now. And so this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And no fucking bracelet is going to tell me, right? I'll, 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 I'll wear the bracelet. I'll give you I know gozies. You I know you will. Uh, and it may work. Do we have a crime corner today? We do. Shut your mouth. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. It's a good break. Um, this is uh, sent to us from Jay Brawley. Oh, okay. Goody, an, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. A favorite in my uh, detective. Jay or the story squad. itself? What? <laughs> Him. Oh, all right. It's Shane Goodman and Jay Brawley, basically, and Rick Abend that send me all the best stuff. I don't know. Sorry, some people creep in there sometimes. But, um, Somebody sent me a much- message last night that just said, hey, man, I guess James didn't like my Crime Corner submission. Oh, no. Yeah. Did you do it to my personal Instagram message? Okay. Not to Ross Patterson Revolution. Not to Ross. Go to the Facebook. You can go to Facebook. Or not to Facebook. To my, go to my Instagram. That's where I am. I'm not Tell on people. Facebook. Right. I'm not at us. So go to my Instagram, Jesse Wiseman. Leave me a message. You don't have to follow me. Just leave me a message. Yeah. Um, in there. That's where I'm looking for these crime got corners. It, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I'm sorry if I missed you. Send it again there. 
I promise I'm wanting I'm wanting to promote other detectives. I really am. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm I'm neat. I want it. Yeah. Okay. I want it just as much as you want it. Yeah. But help me help you. You know what I mean? And send it to just one place because I don't go anywhere else, including I do not leave the house. So <laughs> woman saved from rapist by gay rapist who raped the rapist. Whoa, whoa, just whoa, whoa. Wait, is that real so or not that real? That one is a fake one. Oh, oh. Which I, was I like, loved, though. <laughs> shit. I had to I like, rethink that where I was like, man. Right? So she gets saved by yeah. a rapist. A lot of rape. From a gay guy no, I, who I, raped the rapist. Totally get it. Yeah. And, and I, I thought, gosh, I wanted so bad for that to be real, but it was not real. I was already wearing the pants in that. I was already into you that. You were already I was out the in door. It. I, I was into that story and you fucked me. Both sent by the same person. So. All right. Um, But no, so Alabama man fed meth to caged attack squirrel. So Ah. he had this like squirrel that Mm -hmm. he was grooming. You know, I love that word. Yeah, yeah, you do. (laughs) I love when I love the whole grooming um, of squirrels of uh, anything. The whole idea of grooming. We're all being (laughs) groomed for something, right? So Alabama investigators say a man. So this is this is in Alabama. It's not in. Where? Florida. Yeah. Um, kept a caged attack squirrel in his apartment and fed it uh, small amounts of methamphetamine to ensure that it stayed aggressive and stayed alert. I understand. Right? That. Yeah. Totally. Um, so the law enforcement <laughs> was warned of the animal prior to um, executing the search warrant. And um, it is illegal in Alabama to have a pet squirrel. Is it really? And I think probably other places too right man there's so I had many one. fucked up people and things you could do in alabama really surprised that you can't keep an attack squirrel right I on would, your property yeah hmm. in your apartment he didn't really even have a property oh, it was in an apartment it was too. in an apartment inside in a cage yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. so loving it you know loving life yeah getting meth daily staying aggressive but in the cage yeah you got because you, you want to stay aggressive that's the whole... You, that's what you want to come home to, right? And so he had it situated right by his door. So when he would walk in, it was just this attack squirrel. Yeah. Inside a cage, all methed out. Um, and uh, a spokesman for... You know, anyways, they, they got him away, uh, arrested the guy. A spokesman for the squirrel? A spokesman for the Limestone County Sheriff's okay. Office says there was no safe way to test the squirrel for meth. So. so how did they know the squirrel was on meth? Just a guess? Or what, did it have white underneath its nose? It was the tip that they got. Well, once they, once they arrested the guy and he like told him everything. Was there a but, pipe in his little cage? Like no, I think he was just feeding pipe? it. Just feeding the squirrel meth? Uh-huh, but yeah. It's not, I mean, I, yes, you, you probably could eat it, I guess, if you were a squirrel right out of the hand. But wouldn't it bite the, the owner then? You know, I feel like they probably uh, had a rapport, you the, know, kind oh, the, of like a, a nice shorthand. Yeah. Well, they pro- it was probably like a super villain, super villain and attack squirrel type relationship. Sure, sure, sure. Where, you know, he knew who bo- who the boss was. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And then if anyone else came in, then he knew to attack. Man. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Uh, look, man, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mince words here when I say this. That's the most genius thing I've ever heard. And that if, if I'm protecting my house, right, that's probably the only way I'm going to do it now from, from here on forward. I'm going to get a squirrel, cage it, and feed it meth all day long, and just keep it really on edge. Maybe uh, uh, one of those pokers for, right. uh, for a fireplace, kind of jostle, jostle around in there, mm-hmm. maybe just slang it across the cage, you know? Staircase style. Yeah. So they did release the animal. Into the wild. Yeah. So watch, uh, this mainly is a, a, warning a warning to f- people in a- Athens. Alabamians. Ala- Alabama. Alabamians. Because there is a methed out. Squirrel. And he's jonesing. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> if you, A, if you have meth, B, if you just live around any area where there is a lot of squirrels, just be careful of this guy. Yep. Keep a keep because he was a trained well. Out. He's you know he's got Stockholm 
syndrome. He's willing to still carry out the evil uh, acts that his lord overlord. I'd be I'd be surprised if the squirrel didn't go home. Right. Try to go back to that apartment complex. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. He'll definitely try and go back. Give there. a just give a nice little rap at the door and minion say, "Hey, style. yeah, like the minions." <laughs> yep, and just I'm back. <laughs> You got that meth I can't dog? leave you. I don't know any other, I don't know any other way, way to live. But to do meth and attack people that are evil in this world who might be right. showing up at my house. Right. Man, I'm a big fan of that one, actually. We have, we've had a lot of crime corners on this show. Uh-huh. I'd say that's top five for me right there. Just because you're wanting to do it. Now you're getting some tips. Yeah, and again, I think it was I, more it's, of like, it's genius across mm. the board. I mean... I, what, we just bought one of those security systems, that ring thing. It was 200 bucks or whatever it was. Bullshit. Yeah. Wouldn't we that, had a fucking That's not going to stop anything. Thing, yeah. If I had a fucking attack squirrel all methed up, ready to juice someone off. Ready to beef them down? Yeah. Beef them down? Yeah, or? ready to just go for the jugular. <laughs> nice little nut shot there. Man, that would be the... Just the, the end talons. all be all. It looks like they have talons too. Well, Sharp talons. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they have talons. No. But, um, a methed out squirrel. Because in Alabama, it's so hot. It's, mm-hmm. that, it's that fucking ball sweat. Because right? you're already. And if you live in an apartment complex, chances are you're only wearing jersey shorts. Mm-hmm. Like made out of some type of jersey material. Right. Therefore, it's real loose. That squirrel could get in there on your ding dong and just rip a nice chunk out to really get you out that front door. Go to town, yeah. you know? Fuck. Look, I don't want to say we're we're you know, more than a podcast, but I feel like we're we're very educational today. Yeah. The more you know. I feel, I feel like you're getting a lesson here today. Um, the last Crime story corner. I wanted to bring up is this JJ Abrams thing. Congrats, my man. 500 million dollar deal with Warner Media to stay there and produce movies and t- television shows. He's got Bad Robot. They did Lo- Lost and, you know, he does the Star Trek and okay. Star Wars and all okay. that shit. Okay. Well, the last thing is Star Wars, right? That he's yeah, done? Yeah. Has he done He's any? doing, yeah, it comes out of Christmas. Um, Has he done anything else? Fuck, he's done a million things. No, I mean, like, his main thing these days is the Star Wars. No, he does Star Trek, he does Star Wars, he does all of it okay. across the board. Okay. He's the dude, man. And he's got like a million TV shows. Bad Robot. It's that yeah, dude. Yeah, no, no, no. Got it, got but it. But a half a billion it. dollars to a producer is, I, I can't remember that ever. Because right now with all the streaming services, there's a, there's a race for talent, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in particular in television. And dude, a half a billion. I think Ryan Murphy got what, 100 million? So, I mean, J.J. Abrams, that's a big boy number right there. Well, he's good, right? He's great. Yeah. Um, but that's a half a billion dollars. Fuck. That's half a mil- Half a billion, 500. Now, how much is in a billion again? Boy. <laughs> can't, can't do this is with it, you. Is it a thousand million? A thousand millions, <laughs> James, is what it is. Gosh, um, I'll write that down for sure next time. But the, the other crazy thing, and I was, uh, we were talking about this with Alec, um, who, who's with us working diligently behind the scenes is uh, there was another article right underneath in a Hollywood reporter that was talking about how hard it is for comedies to get made. And we've, we've obviously talked about this forever. Mm-hmm. The surprising part was there was a quote from Will Ferrell in there. I guess he went on a podcast and was just like, yeah, man, I, I can't get shit made. And he said that there was a bunch of great ideas that he's taken out around town. And he goes, he goes, literally, man, people are just looking me in the eyes and saying, nope. Yeah, because it, what is it going to do? Go to theaters and no one's going to see it? Yeah, so they were, they were bringing up the box office numbers. Mm-hmm. The only person comedically who's doing well at the box office is, is Kevin Hart. Yeah. Um, and look, I love Kevin Hart, but that was surprising when I was just like, oh, that's right, they're not making any more comedies whatsoever. No. Uh, so Will Ferrell and those guys, because Sandler's purely Netflix. Yeah. Well, he's, I think Will Ferrell will probably he's smart because be. If you want to do do these weird ideas that you want, I yep. believe Netflix would be like, yeah, throw it on. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to trying to get it into a theater. That's just a whole. You've got to have so many other elements now. Yeah. So looking back on it, you know, I know we talked about this a few months ago with Adam McKay, his partner over at Funny or Die leaving. Um, I think now we have our true answer of probably what was happening. Yeah. They were probably around town shipping out ideas and they were just like, nope. Meanwhile, 
you know, what he won an Oscar, what, two years ago and then was nominated this year. He's probably trying to tell him, like, hey, dude, they're just not making comedy. Hey, and, bro. And Will I'm Ferrell's gonna... like, but I'm Will fucking Ferrell. And he'll, he's like, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Try it out. Yep. See what happens. Because as much as we hate Adam McGay, he obviously knows something. Adam McKay, yeah. I, Adam look, McKay. Yeah, he, he, he knows something. So whatever it is, uh, he moved on with his life. But uh, Jim Carrey's the same way. Uh, the, the, the only comedic movie he's doing is, is that Sonic the Hedgehog, but it, I guess it's for kids. Yeah. And then he's doing dark. I mean, kidding is not a comedy at all, but I didn't dig that show. No, it wasn't good. No. Um, we got to check out euphoria though. Cause we've been talking about it and a bunch of people have hit us oh, up. Yes, so. And I'm here for it. Yep. We'll, we'll give some reports on that shortly. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. NBA draft is tonight, Jabes. Uh, 33 years ago, uh, today actually, was uh, the, the death of Len Bias, who was the first pick in the draft, went out, celebrated that night, did a bunch of blow, and OD'd and died. When was this? Uh, this was 33 years ago, so um, it was in the Shh. 80s. Yeah, and he was supposed to be, him and Jordan were oh, always boy. in the same breath, but... In, it, it, look, he was one of the, he was number one. Yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. great he was. He was the Zion of today. He was the Zion Williamson of today. And it was just like, man, I, I feel like every year this story creeps up, but 33 years is crazy. Cause I was a kid when this happened and it was like, that's the dangers of drugs. And I want to say it was like 88, maybe somewhere in there now, probably early. It was, if it's 33 years. We're looking at uh, 86 then. Um, so Yeah. It, it that was a big big deal and you know it hasn't happened since thankfully Jeez. but Can this dude imagine? was was supposed to be one of the best and i watched the 30 for 30 they did a 30 for 30 last year on him it was just devastating we were just like oh, man God. imagine the greatest yep. day of your life and then boom od and then that, that's it dang crazy crazy but i'm looking forward to the nba draft um zion's going to new orleans okay Weird, weird. Second smallest market in in uh, right. in the NBA. So I'm sure he's not amped about it. Right. But uh, I don't know. The draft will be interesting this year. There's not a lot of good players. Top three are pretty much cemented after that. It's a guessing game at that point. But uh, Zion's going to New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans next month. We are. I'll be curious is if if you know when this goes down tonight. Unless, you know, a Len Bias situation happened to him. Like, he's number one. And I, I have a feeling they will be plastering his face all over that city. So by the time we get there, it'll be everywhere. Because he's, he's supposed to be the dude. So we'll find out. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I always like draft night. NBA and NFL. I do. Yeah. I, Basketball is different because it's just one night. The pageant. It's only two rounds. Right. And it's it's fucking heavy pressure because if you don't go in those two rounds, yeah. See you later. Welcome to the D League. Um, it's it's cutthroat, but uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to watch. So I'm I'm stoked. Uh, fun show, Jabes. Again, it's sex doll you can get from from me. Okay. Built built for speed. I'll look into it. Built for speed. <laughs> I'll look into it. I have a feeling though, if I died, it would it would pretty much just be you. And endless podcasts, and you'd be amped that you just have the whole bed to yourself. Yeah, you know I don't going need to bed to, early. I don't need to concern myself with, or I just the gosh to really get in the mindset. It's like the bondage thing. I don't have time to get myself into the mindset of doing it with your dead sex doll. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, the sex doll is alive. I, I'm dead. The sex doll but, is not alive. What is uh, wrong with you? It's very lively. That's what that's what they've said. It is very lively. So I just don't have that much time in the day to no, I like get there mentally, then get there physically, sure, then sure, sure. also you know clean up. Yeah, the cleanup on that's got to be. <laughs> I don't have room in the dishwasher. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying for to, all the you're parts? Throw that dong up there on the on the for top the parts. on the top row well, with the cups. 
You yeah, because you don't want to get it melt. You don't want it to melt with the plates. Nah, you that's a you want to keep it with the glass. Like a top wear. row. Yeah, it's a cock top row. We call that mm-hmm. in the biz. Mm-hmm. Uh, I call you Jesse Wiseman in the biz, aka the Jables. I am Ross Patterson. This is the Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.